Welcome to Curio Clips channel. Have you ever looked at the vast expanse of Earth's history, a timeline stretching back billions of years, and wondered, are we truly the first? What if, buried deep beneath the layers of time, lie the remnants of a civilization that rose and fell long before humans ever walked the planet? It sounds like science fiction, but some scientists are seriously considering this exact question. It's called the Silurian Hypothesis, and it asks a mind-bending question. If an industrial civilization existed on Earth millions of years ago, what traces would it have left behind? How would we even begin to look for it? Forget crumbling ruins or ancient artifacts. We're talking about a civilization that might have existed over 100 million years ago. Over that immense time scale, continents drift, mountains rise and fall, and the very surface of the planet is recycled. Any cities, any structures, any physical evidence would be ground to dust buried under kilometers of rock, or subducted into the Earth's mantle. So, if we can't find a fossilized skyscraper, where do we look? The answer isn't in the ground beneath our feet, but in the geological record itself. The clues would be chemical, not physical. Think about our own era, the Anthropocene. What indelible mark are we leaving on the planet? We're burning colossal amounts of fossil fuels, releasing massive quantities of carbon into the atmosphere. This changes the isotopic balance of carbon in the air, a signature that will be visible in sediment layers for millions of years. We're also creating novel, long-lasting synthetic materials like plastics, which will eventually break down and form a distinct layer of microplastic sediment across the globe. Our agricultural practices, using nitrogen-based fertilizers, are fundamentally altering the planet's nitrogen cycle. These are the kinds of global-scale fingerprints we need to search for. So let's play detective. If a Silurian civilization existed, say, during the Eocene epoch 50 million years ago, we'd look for a sudden, sharp spike in carbon dioxide in ice cores or sediment layers from that time. We de search for unusual concentrations of synthetic like molecules or heavy metals that do not have a natural explanation. We might even find evidence of a mass extinction event that does in align with known causes like asteroid impacts or supervolcano eruptions. A previous civilization might have triggered its own climate change, its own sixth extinction. Scientists have actually examined geological history for such anomalies. One interesting event is the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, or PTM, which occurred about 56 million years ago. During this period, global temperatures soared by 5 to 8 degrees Celsius, and there was a massive release of carbon into the atmosphere. The cause is still debated among scientists. Theories range from volcanic activity to melting methane hydrates. But could it fit the profile of an industrial civilization's impact? Well, the timescale is a key issue. The carbon release during the PTM, while rapid in geological terms, seems to have happened over a few thousand years. Our current carbon release is happening over just a couple of centuries, making it far more abrupt. So far, the PETM doesn't quite match the industrial accident signature we'd expect. What about other signs? Radioactive isotopes from a nuclear conflict? This whole thought experiment does something more important than just hunt for ancient aliens on our own planet. It forces us to look in the mirror. By considering what our own geological legacy will be, we get a profound perspective on our impact. We are, right now, creating the very signals that a future civilization millions of years from now, might interpret as evidence of our existence. Our plastic waste, our atmospheric carbon, our disruption of natural cycles. These are the fossils we are leaving behind. The Silurian hypothesis isn't just about the past. It's a stark warning about our present and our future. It highlights the immense, planet-altering power that industrial civilizations wield. The search for a predecessor on Earth also has huge implications for our search for life elsewhere in the universe. When we look at exoplanets, we're searching for biosignatures, like oxygen in the atmosphere. But what if we should also be looking for technosignatures? Signs of industrial pollution, atmospheric imbalances, or unnatural heat signatures. It's possible that a planet might appear lifeless today, but its geology could hold the chemical ghost of a civilization that rose and fell eons ago. Perhaps the galaxy is filled not with thriving civilizations, but with the quiet, geological tombstones of civilizations that, like us, reached a critical point of technological advancement and either transcended it or succumbed to it. So, 
Did another civilization come before us? The honest answer is, we don't know, and we may never know for sure. The evidence, if it exists, is likely buried so deep and is so faint that it may be beyond our ability to ever find and confirm. But the absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence. The Earth is incredibly old, and humanity's recorded history is just a tiny, fleeting flash in the grand cosmic scheme of things. The Silurian hypothesis remains a captivating, humbling, and slightly unsettling idea. It reminds us that we are just one chapter in Earth's incredibly long story, and the final pages of our own chapter have yet to be written. This forces us to ask ourselves, what kind of geological ancestors will we be? Will we leave behind a story of short-sighted destruction, a chemical scar that warns future intelligences of the dangers of unchecked industrial growth? Or can we become a civilization that learns to live in harmony with its planet, leaving behind a legacy of sustainability and wisdom? The choice is ours, and the clock, in geological time, is ticking. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey through deep time. If you found this as fascinating as I did, please hit that like button, Subscribe for more explorations into the biggest questions of science and existence, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Are we the first? Let me know. Until next time, stay curious.